Yes. Oh, it does feel better over here. I mean, oh, like, like, oh, stop it. Did you see the sun just came out? Ridiculous. <laughs> the skies are very blue today, though. So we're moving into the neighborhoods that are my eastern edge. I just, I love these houses. I love the big old trees. Me We've too. got sidewalks. This intersection, so if we go down, let's take a right on Edwards. Okay. We've got the opportunity for some mixed business, small business. I love that Insider too. residential. We've that got has some, been things over the years. Got some plans for that one. Yes. I'm not saying anything yet, but I'm super excited. Um, but again, this is just this family feel of what you, you think of. This is what I think of as like where I grew up and for where sure. I want to be. This is an Airbnb to your left that's run out here in Ward 8. Oh, wow. Look at all the detail and personal unique work they've put into that check it I out love it. that is so cute i love this house they do really fabulous stuff all the time and then right next to them is one of our neighborhood anchors douglas avenue methodist church yes where i'm that's where they have the historic west side meetings yes we have meetings for that they're holding um a vaccine clinic vaccine our second the second vaccine clinic so this will be round two everyone can come get their shots this is where we have our trunk or treat nice. and if you take a left I want to show you one of my favorite little shops in Ward 8. Junk in the Trunk? Oh, yeah. I know Junk in the Trunk. I have some of the best lawn ornaments from Junk in the Trunk. It's unique. Mm -hmm. He's got amazing stuff in there. And it's it's just fun. You can get lost for like an hour inside this inside oh, that shop. Yeah. Oh, and house, to gar house and Garden. Oh, yeah. Love it. That's good stuff. It's really good stuff. There's a, there have always here. been unique businesses over here. It's a great stretch of businesses. It is. We have um, Temple Israel right here. I have a temple in my ward too. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. We are. We do have a lot in common. I know. So this street. So we're going to go straight from okay. here. I love all the again all these old brick roads. Old brick roads, which. I mean, at least for me, slows my traffic down. Oh, um, yeah. One of the problems we have sometimes is with the the settling. And, you know, they've been doing work on this road. Governor has gotten a fair amount of work. But they just make you feel like you you know you're in an older historic part of, of Springfield. Absolutely. And one of the things I keep telling people in this neighborhood is this area right here with these cute little houses and these great yards and trees and sidewalks we're so ideally situated for when the downtown rail, the, th the third street rails are gone. We move, that's all over on the 10th. We've got a walking trail, walking, biking, express. And then and then you've got the option, you know, maybe we've got the downtown campus. This neighborhood is one of the neighborhoods that I see as being really, really ideally situated to, to be a very hot spot. I love it. So we're gonna go straight again through here. Okay. This is Amos, Hi, Amos. Famous Amos. Famous Amos. Now I want a cookie. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and again, this is just, these are just, Ward 8 is a lot of residential. Yes. It's it's quiet streets that we want to keep quiet. Yes, we do. Um, this stretch of Feldkamp, we have, and I, I would always like to point this out, some people who drive too quickly here. So we've got a new, we've got a oh, new I stop see. sign. Look at you. We're trying to slow the traffic down, but if you take a right here, mm -hmm. You can see, so we've got kind of curves around, quiet little, you know, nice neighborhoods. And again, a little bit of local, small local business. Yes. And it's it's that mix that people can walk to things and, and feel people safe. People want to and, walk. People want to walk. And that's one of the biggest things I want to work on in Ward 8 is, is really have the improving walkability. the walkability of this community. Yeah. One of the ideas that um, I floated to the mayor, we were a little late in applying for the grant, but and not just because of Grant Middle School, but getting those lighted street signs that show you what speed you're going. Oh, yeah. That are solar powered. So there is a grant that IDOT has, and I'm hoping next year we'll, we'll have it on our um, on the agenda a little sooner and we can get some money to put those up and around. Nice. So this is one of my complicated intersections. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. It's, well, it's... I, did I say that out loud? You did say I it out loud. I meant to say it to myself. It's busy. It's very, it's, it's a always very busy. very busy intersection. Yes. The Starbucks is very, very busy. And it's as you know... It's the worst situated Starbucks in the United States of America. I, Maybe the world. I'm not going to say world. So here we're in my kind of commercial zone, right? Yes. Um, With your Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Your Can Nancy's. I talk about Nancy's Pizza? It's delicious. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's delicious. I don't even want to tell you. I'm glad we don't we don't get the frequent flyer 
<laughs> but you also, is, do you still have the Eurostop over here? We do. <gasps> I've got Eurostop, I've got Simply Fair, mm. Clothes Mentor, Plato's Closet. You want to talk about being kind of, you know, earth Hawaiian barbecue. Green. Hawaiian barbecue. Oh, I love Hawaiian barbecue. I know. I've got the... I've got great eating in Me Ward too. 8. Yes. And there's all sorts of little smaller businesses that are just mixed in this little, I call it my mini business park. Yes. Um, lots of stuff going on in there. I was in your mini business park twice this week. Good. What were you doing? Services. Oh, yeah. Yes. All the services. All the services. Yes. One of the big projects I'd like to see that we've been talking to Public Works about is is getting more walkability around Koki Mill mm. because I have Need a it. large senior citizen independent living and um, you know and and then uh, there's community right here off Koki Mill mm. and then there are neighborhoods in here but this is not an easy road to walk on no it's not, not even a, close it's not fun to drive on especially in the winter time mm -hmm. where you feel you're gonna slide off into a ditch I couldn't agree um, most of the things people talk about in this area, and this area does consider itself to be more of an older neighborhood. Right? Well, it is an it, it is an older neighborhood. It's been around for a, yeah, yes. a, not as long as some of those other ones in your ward, but it is an older neighborhood. So we're just looking to make sure that the trees are getting trimmed, that the roads are being maintained, and our sidewalks are safe. Yes. Um, but again, see here we've so we've got you know apartments, single family, and just I love this area. They they take care of their houses. They're they do. And they're, they're I love putting, that metal roof. I do too. I want a metal roof. Me too. Okay, we've got skeletons on our cars. It's all good. Back there? I missed it. You missed it. I'm driving. I have to pay attention. I'm, I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, so when we get up to Chatham, if we could take a right turn. Okay. But here on your left, the Presbyterian Homes, they're doing some major expansion I right now. I saw that. They're, they've got the little cottages that are for sale, and then there's going to be an apartment unit in there, too. So we're taking a right? We're not we're going down Lawrence? Well, if you want to go down Lawrence. No, no, no. Okay. It's your tour. <laughs> I already did mine. And I always tell people, you know, people tell me they can't figure out when they're in Springfield, when they're in Leland Grove. It's the it's signs. It's the street signs. The blue signs. If you see blue, you best go the speed limit. That's right. <laughs> and, I, you know, and we were talking earlier about how the trees aren't even changing yet. No. We don't have a lot. And that, and I, I mentioned before, I'm going to say it again. That's why that leaf collection is year round. Because these trees are hanging on to their leaves. Yes, they are. We're breaking in December, but we've got bag bag collection all through all through the year now that's right every other week every other week my next goal is to get branch collection more often oh well, that would be nice four times a year is better but it needs to be more it really needs it to needs be to be more. monthly I will say that's the one thing I see I as think soon as the right. branches get collected we get a storm come through and everyone want me to give you a few examples of that when we drive down my street I think we can see that mm -hmm. okay and this is one of my favorite stretches of trees, these sycamores. Beautiful. Right here. Yes. Absolutely stunning. And they're stunning all year. They are. In the wintertime, they're gorgeous. You can see the white branches. Yes. So it's Springfield is a tree city, Illinois. Yes, we are. We are, and I think we've we've earned that designation. I think you're right. Yeah. And we'll those. take it. We'll take it. I actually just got a tree survey. Of your yard? No, I got it in the mail. Um, oh, it's from kidding. statewide organization. One, Who? I, I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. But well, it says tree survey. Yes. I'm excited. I'll fill out your tree survey. This is interesting. My degree is actually in plant biology. So I know. That's I, what you say. I took a, took, a, took a couple forestry classes. Well, now we finally get an arrow. Now we it's finally get an arrow. Time. The city and heard us. <laughs> we are back in Ward 6. Such a relief. Welcome back to I Ward know. Six. Ah, oh, it's we're, lovely. It is. We're calm. We're calm. We're Everything's very calm. Okay. Everything's calm. And here's an example of branches. They get put out. They and get the put collection out. doesn't come for another couple of weeks. That's correct. And I understand I, where else you're gonna put them. And I know what's in that backyard because my friend used to live at that house. And, and it's, it happens every time a yes. storm will come and the branches come down. We really need it to be monthly. Yeah.